Hi everyone, today I have an unboxing of the Seasonic Platinum 520 watt power supply. First off, the packaging is quite nice. It's a rather big box like any other power supply. On the sides here we have just some product information and just some more logos and things like that. Let's go ahead and open the box up. And just like any other power supply manufacturer, we have a nice little uh, case that we can put our ca uh, cables in, or the cables that are in, but we can also reuse it as like a any other kind of bag, and so it comes out like that. There's two of them. Put that off to the side. We have a whole bunch of black cable ties. We have another nice bag. It's kind of like velour. My dad thought it was like velour and that's what the power supply sits in so it's really quite it's really quite smooth or velvety it's quite nice and I'll just put my mic down and I'll grab the power supply out for you So I didn't mention this power supply is a fanless power supply, so that'll be rather interesting. Um, rather interesting to see how it operates and what temperatures it operates at. Since there is no fan to kind of spin the air around, um, it'll be interesting to see what they've done in place to kind of combat the heat. And this is a fully modular power supply, so you have all of your... Um, all your cables that just input into there um, you can throw or not throw away you can pack away the cables that you aren't using um, so it works quite nice I love modular power supplies and I wish I had got one for my a fully modular power supply for my gaming computer I have a OCZ or OCZ power supply um, in terms of the way of documents here we have um, a quality assurance and just kind of a warning and important information guide and of course we have a quick user manual here. Um, not much. Not, not much that's interesting there. You can do go download these off Seasonic's website. Um, in terms of cables, we have all the normal cables. Um, nothing is too different there. Um, I'll put a whole a couple of photos maybe at the end of it of all of the components together. And I might put a photo of what it looks like in the build that I'm currently doing. Um, I'm actually re replacing this with a um, Corsair power supply that has failed on me. Um, that's the 850X. Um, so that's kind of a bummer, but at least I got to buy another one and to re do a review and unboxing of this one. Um, the Corsair one's been great. It hasn't heated up, hasn't done anything wrong. It just all of a sudden died. I pull it apart and sometimes it turns on again, sometimes it doesn't. It's very temperamental. Um, that's why I'm replacing it. So I'll get I'll get this in the machine and I'll grab a few photos for you. So I've just unpacked the cables and it looks like in one of them you have all your peripheral cables and all your SATA cables and in the other you have all your larger 24 pin cables and things like that. Just about to put the all the cables in so that's what it looks like in a nice little fractal design case. Um, I'll post another photo when we're finished. So in the first packet we do have all of our uh, PCIe connectors and our 24 pin connector and that's it for that packet and then the other packet we have all of our SATA connectors so we have a couple of SATA connectors um, a couple of Molex connectors by the looks of them um, not quite sure what that is and another SATA connector so 
I just thought it would be nice to just have a few photos of the power supplies components itself. So here we have a photo of the power supply itself. It's a nice unit. Really interesting to see no fan in this uh, power supply. So far it hasn't gotten hot, hasn't done anything, and it is of course deadly silent. It's also nice to be able to see in there a little bit and see all the components that are inside your power supply. Um, I do recommend taking note of the serial number before installing it in your machine. Um, that's a mistake I made. Um, just for warranty purposes, because they do tend, they can tend to rub off or be hard to see after a couple of years. Here we have the cables in one side. We have the 24 port pin cable, uh, cables. We also have the PSU, the power, PCIe connectors. And in the other one, we have all of the uh, other SATA cables, just like in the video before. So thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks again for watching, and have a nice day.